Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Kulbin Craft. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how spring rate at wheels is different than the spring rate in the suspension system. But before moving on, let us have a small recap of the previous video. For a given amount of frequency and axle load, we can achieve the spring rate. The frequency of the rear wheels has to be greater than the front wheels. We need to select such a spring rate, such a frequency so that you know it provides a better passenger comfort and also does not lead to an oversteer. So coming back to this video, in order to understand the difference between the spring rate at the wheels and the suspension system, we need to think about the moment, moment which we all learnt in this high school physics. The greater the, dis the greater the distance, the higher will be the moment. In order to understand the difference between the spring rates, we need to consider a two-dimensional front view of a vehicle. Here we have this pivot point and we need to consider the, the distances of this uh, suspension and the tire contact patch with respect to this point. Well, it is kind of obvious that whatever the moment is acting over here will be about this point and hence we are taking this as the reference. So we'll name this point as O, the contact patch between the tire surface and the road surface as uh, A and we'll project this point over here and we'll name it as B. Now why am I taking this point over here? Whenever any kind of irregularity is present on the road whenever uh, uh, the tire hits a bump on the road whatever the displacement is taking place will be within this limit that is within this travel length of the suspension so hence we are uh, the deformation sorry the displacement is starting from this point and hence we need to consider this point about the pivot point so it is clear over here that OA is greater than OB Hence, the moment of A will be greater than the moment at B. Now, if we want to find out the spring rate of the suspension system, given that we already know the spring rate at the, at the wheels, then we need to take the ratio of these distances, that is OA to OB. Sounds a bit confusing, so let us solve an example based on this. Let us say that you are working in a Fast and Furious movie and you need to design a car for Dominic Toretto for his, you know, one last ride. So you are now coming towards the suspension part. You want to calculate the spring rate and with the given frequency and uh, you, we know the formula for the frequency. Given that and the axle load we measured, we calculated the spring rate at the wheel which turned out to be spring rate at the wheels equals to 80 km per mm. This means 80 kg of force is required for 1 mm of displacement. So this is at the wheels, this is the spring rate at the wheels. We measured the distances OA and OB. OA, let us say it is 450 mm and OB is 300 mm. So with this given data we can calculate the spring rate as suspension as spring rate at the wheels multiplied by the distance OA by OB. We need to take the ratio of these two distances and multiply with the spring rate which is available at the wheels. Hence, 80 multiplied by 450 divided by 300. This will give us 133.33 kilogram per mm. This will be the spring rate of the of the of your suspension system. So when you design your suspension when you consider the coil springs and the dampers the entire spring rate of that suspension system should be equal to 133.33 kilogram per mm so it started with the frequency we need to consider the vibration frequency which is around you know 1 to 1.2 to 1.33 depending on the type of vehicle 
from that we calculated the spring rate at the wheels and then we just had to measure the distances between the points and taking the ratio we found out the spring rate of the suspension system so this was a bit uh, I would not say complicated but a long process one thing was dependent on another thing but if you just consider the basic physics that it is all about the moment that is acting then it will be much easier to do the calculations so i hope this was clear for you if you did not understand any part of this you can always feel free to mention down in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video